From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Down in Brisbane, Australia, a pregnant mother got the shock of her life when she suddenly erupted in a painful rash all over her body. She was told by doctors she was allergic to the baby inside of her. Shocking pictures show the true extent of summer Bostock's allergy, which occurred virtually overnight, a month and a half before her first child, Isaiah, was born. Doctors say it was one of the most extreme cases of a rare prenatal condition known as polymorphic eruption of pregnancy, or PEP. It's basically harmless but does leave the mother in agonizing pain. After starting with painful red blotches on her stomach, it spread up to her back and down her legs, covering her entire body. The good news is it all vanished within hours of her son Isaiah's birth. Now, me at the Marlar house, uh, we don't have any kids. I'm going to say it's because I'm allergic. Jennifer Aniston thinks that if Friends were being produced today, the show would consist of the cast sitting in silence on their phones at Central Park. Well, everybody would be on their phone except for Joey. He wouldn't be able to figure out the phone and probably wouldn't have money for a cell plan. So yeah, Donald Trump fired FBI Director James Comey. You know, I'm amazed that everyone is so shocked that a guy whose reality show catchphrase was, you're fired, actually fired someone. A thief in West Virginia covered his face with a pair of blue women's underwear and used a pistol-shaped cigarette lighter in a botched robbery of a convenience store. One of the responding officers said, I couldn't make this stuff up if I tried. Research shows that the lead dust from bullets poses a health risk to anyone in the room. Hey, hey, if you're going to shoot me, uh, shoot me, but for heaven's sake, please open a window first! I, can't, <laughs> I, can't, I cannot believe this is actually a, a true story. Some universities are offering students, I kid you not, chocolate, therapy dogs, and video games <laughs> as a way to cope with their finals. <laughs> wow! Our country is in big trouble, people! A new broccoli pill is said to prevent deaths from strokes, which sounds great, except for that broccoli part. Why can't they make pills taste like chocolate, huh? Jody Sweeten's ex-fiance, Justin Hodak, was sentenced to more than six years in prison last week. The only Fuller house he'll be experiencing is the big house, one Fuller once he arrives. The airline nightmare stories continue. In New Orleans, a United passenger says that the airline canceled his ticket after a baggage dispute. Meanwhile, a nurse from Kansas City says she was forced to pee into a cup in her seat on a United flight because she was not allowed to use the plane's lavatory. Uh, yeah, dear Uber, we need you to switch to airplanes immediately. Former President Obama traveled to Italy this week to talk about climate change in a private jet with a 14-car motorcade and a helicopter flying overhead. Yep, the guy talking about climate change is the one that caused climate change. This week, I'm asking you, my fellow weirdos, to join me in raising money for Food for the Poor. Once a year, I take this opportunity to ask you to join in something that I believe in greatly. It's Food for the Poor and a single gift of just $50 will feed a child for an entire year in Haiti and Guatemala. And that same $50 also provides clean water for life. I've had a, I've had a few people uh, come to me and say, that's not possible, we think this is a scam. Well, do the research. Look up Food for the Poor online, find out more about them, and you'll see that this is legitimate. They have created a system to create clean water in these communities, and your single gift of just $50 can make that happen. Please call right now, 855-901-4673. That's 855-901-HOPE. If you have a mobile phone, you can dial pound 250 and then say the keyword HOPE when prompted. It's pound 250 on your mobile phone and then say hope, or you can give on my website. Go to MarlarHouse.com slash food for the poor. That's MarlarHouse.com slash food for the poor, or you can click the food for the poor tile at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. 
But please, give now. We are less than halfway to our goal, yet we're more than halfway through this campaign, so we really need someone to step up and save the lives of these children. 231 kids' lives are in the balance right now, and that requires a little over $11,500. And like I said, we're only about halfway there. So please, if you're feeling that nudge, if you're feeling that tug on your heart to give, please do so. Uh, $50 a month. If we had 13 people give $50 a month, that would take care of these 231 children, the rest of the rest of our list. But if you can't do that, if you could give just once, $50 just one time, again, that still saves the life of a child and provides that clean water for life. 855-901-4673 or marlerhouse.com slash food for the poor. Thank you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video with your friends. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos.